It's great to be here in Havana, Cuba with Nick Manning from Ubiquity. We're at the Local Planet Global Convention and you've been talking a little bit about the issues of trust and transparency in this industry with all the gathered agencies from around the world. Obviously the ANA report that came out earlier in the year has had a big effect and how do you brief people about the effect it's had to the industry? We take them through the facts, because the facts are always a good place to start, aren't they? Um, and it's very important to establish the facts, because there's quite a lot of noise in the industry, which sometimes can be helpful and sometimes unhelpful. Um, so it's very important that we understand that advertisers know exactly what's going on, because the first thing they need to understand is, OK, what, how does the industry work? What are the business models that are at play here? Uh, how are people making money and how do we how do they make sure that they get the best possible result for them as advertisers? So we start with the facts and then we work out from there and one of the things that's happened this year is that the a a exercise in the US has put a lot more uh, Light into the marketplace in terms of the facts of the market and therefore clients uh, are very interested to see exactly what those reports said and what they should do about it with regards to the issue of trust, which has been brought up due to this type of report, how can agencies become more transparent so that the, the trust can be built? The trust comes from, uh, it doesn't come suddenly, it doesn't come overnight. It is something that builds over a period of time. And if clients can see that the agencies that they're working with uh, are behaving in a transparent manner, are extremely uh, committed to transparency, uh, deliver it, in real life, uh, then that trust will be, will be restored. At the moment, there is a bit of a crisis of trust because clients aren't sure whether their agencies uh, are doing certain things that they don't know about and are not, strictly speaking, within the, the spirit uh, of that relationship. It may be contractually acceptable uh, to, the, to the agencies, but the spirit of the contract is as important as the letter of the contract. So trust is a function, really, of, of a relationship built upon uh, you know, having a very open and, trans and transparent relationship. And I think we're looking very closely at how agencies could be at fault in this. But is it only the agencies that are at fault, or is it the clients? Is it the other end? Uh, well, I suppose the word the words at fault can mean quite a lot of things to different people. I mean, the problem the problems are deeper than just just with the agencies. The agencies behave the way they do for a reason. Uh, there is a commercial imperative behind that. Uh, but of course, you know, the media owners are also part of this, and sometimes client behaviour can be unhelpful too. Um, you know, if if client behaviour encourages. Uh, agencies to behave in a, p a particular way than they will, particularly if, agent if clients are looking for unrealistic fee levels or something that, uh, frankly, is commercially not worth it for the agencies. The agencies probably should turn around and say no, but at the moment they don't. So there are there are lots of reasons why all these things are happening. Uh, it's up to the whole industry to try and work better together to solve those problems. It's just it's not just the agencies who are, uh, you know, who are part of this. It has to be a, a whole industry initiative to put trust back into the equation. And you mentioned clients' fees and what they're prepared to pay. There's certainly a feeling earlier that agencies think that clients will go for the cheapest option a lot of the time. How have we got to this point? Clients don't always go for the cheapest option, and I think most clients understand that it's not always the right thing to do. Um, you know, uh, the cheapest option is very often the wrong thing to do, in fact, because actually you, you end up buying something that may not work. Um, they, so it's not true to say that clients always go for the cheapest option. If they do, then they have to be very careful because they may end up with something that uh, simply isn't you know, fit for purpose for them. Uh, where we've got, why, the reason we've got to where we've got to really is because um, the industry is uh, naturally quite untransparent and therefore to reverse all of this uh, there has to be a, a reset of how agencies work and how clients pay for that work and that's not going to happen overnight. There needs to be a, a, a period of time when transparency is introduced by the clients into the industry and then the fee levels will change to suit that. Brilliant. Thanks very much for talking to us and I hope you enjoy Havana.